Okay, hello again. So this time we will solve another alert, a uh, different kind of alert. Fishing, favorite of many SOC analysts. Uh, this one, fishing may detected XL 4.0 macros. So again, take ownership of the case. Okay, create a case. And we can now start the playbook. Okay, and again, advisable to open multiple tabs uh, for easier navigation. So here we are given the email subject. We can actually search it in our mailbox, mailbox logs. Okay, meeting notes. Okay, here it is. So we are asked to parse the email, or in other words, observe the email. So what is this? when was it sent? That's the TP address, sender address, recipient. This email will contain suspicious, any attachment, and it will all be answered here. The sender, notice here. Okay, was sent on June 13, sent to Lars, and the message seems suspicious because it contains an attachment, right? Definitely take caution in putting it in your machine, make sure it is an analysis machine uh, and isolated uh, because most, most likely this is malware, right? Uh, okay, so we're done with this step. Okay, are the attachments or your um, are there attachments? Yes, definitely. And we can analyze the attachment. So I have here my Remnox machine, and I've already done. Uh, actually, I've actually downloaded the attachment here in my machine, and notice here uh, when we unzip it, it contains three files: two DLL and one XLS which contain macro okay you could do the brick and mortar reverse engineering but uh, with salt time is of the essence so we use utilize uh, free tools or readily available tools such as virus total and open sandbox like hybrid analysis and iran so that's our best friend here so i i already uploaded the, the dll here this is the i wrote to one the DLL and the iroto iroto DLL what's here they are both malicious and here is the macro file okay it's also malicious and it's confirmed malware and in the relations you could actually see these are the contacted URLs so these are key IOCs to find right uh, to check if the the infection was successful or if the execution of malware is successful on the victim machine okay going back let's go back definitely the answer here is malicious okay and it's confirmed delivered right so you can actually see in the alert here device action uh, it's a giveaway it's allowed so it's delivered Okay, secure front is malicious, of course. The action here is to, in the real world, delete the email, block the IOCs, inform the user, right? Not to click in, in case he and the other recipients, right? So, should we delete? And then, uh, go to the log management, okay? So, notice here in the alert, we are not given the IP or the machine IP of Lars, right? What we could do here is manually search the endpoint. Endpoint security for anything because their their machine name are related to the uh, machine owner's name, right? So we could search here for anything related to Lars, which is this. And it will investigate, sample the browser history uh, related to the alert, uh, June 13. You can see here. This one, this two, June 13, which looks familiar, right? Uh, and it is, we have seen this in there, the contacted URL of the malicious macro. So confirming that the malware actually run, right? Okay, and the additional, additional clues to that, uh, you could also 
check the command history. Notice here. These are the two malicious DLLs, right? Included in the, in the attachment. So they were registered. Okay, registered in the machine. You could also check the process list. Notice here, uh, since we're dealing with Excel. Uh -huh, I, notice here, this is the reg SBR32, the exe. Okay, and again, we see it is registering the malicious DLL. And notice the parent process. It's Excel.exe. Very suspicious. Excel doesn't normally register or spawn reg SBR32. That exit to register new DLLs, so that's highly unlikely in a normal environment. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let's go back. So, okay, going back, so definitely it's open, and we can now contain the machine here since we confirmed it's inspected. Okay, then click next. Here we can add all the artifacts I prepared here. Okay, I just did HS, HSXPS. Okay, just to be sure, of course, just just to remove the hyperlink. That's why I replaced with HSXPS. Uh, event. Of course, this is the URL, this is the URL. And then we also capture the hash of the malicious DLLs and malicious macro. Okay, so this is the MD5 hash. You get the idea, right? These are the items to be blocked in your perimeter security tools. The real world, right? To prevent it from running further to, to other non-infected machines. So this is the part of containment. Okay, click next. Analysis note I prepared here. So the user received a phishing email which successfully executed as we have correlated with the network connection and process history. Right? I click next and we can now the real world assuming all uh, containment, eradication, recovery steps will perform. We can now Close the alert. This is confirmed true positive, by the way. And congratulations. Okay, you can double check your answers here. Uh, Fishing mail. Yeah, again, the beauty of this platform it shows you, uh, gives you a check if what you did is right for all the steps. Yeah, you could review the editor note if you want. And that's it, guys.